Hey, orange one here. So we are back in our little hidey hole in this ice lab. Um, basically, we're just like diving down as far as the game will let me while still being not completely endangered. So as you can see right here, our, our temperature falls pretty quick, um, even with all the gear that we have on. I think it's going to be tough for us to get much deeper than this. So I've, I've done a little bit of exploring off camera. I was just kind of checking some stuff out. There's a little bit of a storage room in there that could have some good stuff in it. But I want to see how deep we could go. And so I went down here and there's this little bionic vault. It doesn't have any good bionics in it, to be honest, but I'm more interested in what else we have around us, to be completely honest. Um, this looks like that might be the finale room, actually. Can I, uh, let's have a look, see as to what we have in here. There's a turret. Okay. Uh, well, we've, uh, we found the finale room. That's exciting, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and smash that so that we are not going to get shot com just like out of the blue. So yeah, we got two different turrets here and there. Um, let's see, what do I want to do here? I mean, I can throw the flashlight out a little bit. And then try and shoot them, or I could try and come at them from the side. I think that we're going to want to um, reassess once we've had our temperature go up a little bit, because we're just too dang cold, you know? The nice thing about the game is that because it's a roguelike, we can kind of essentially pause while we're down there and, and have a, a gander at what we're dealing with. Um, and yeah, I mean, we are healing up, so we're, we're doing okay. We are going to need some food eventually, though. We can't stay down here forever. Though I think there's probably some food around here. So if we really needed to, we could could survive off the, the science lab for a while. We really should smash that gate so that we don't have to climb it like that every time. Um, let's just go for a little walk. Yeah, what do we have in here? Is this all muted? Yeah, mutated limbs and, and just cells. Get some stairs up there. Good to know. I'm just gonna before we like freeze just kind of have a peek over here yeah, there is some stairs it looks like I've gone in from here before that is somewhat interesting though not super interesting um what is this is this a just a fence okay I think we're gonna head back for now and then we'll deal with I think we kind of want to go around to the side and see what angle we can get on those turrets and then we'll maybe see about taking them out I mean I know I can take them out I just want to be able to shoot them from the dark where they can't see me you know because that's going to be our challenge is making sure that they can't see us but we can see them I'm pretty sure if we just toss our flashlight out there we could probably do some finagling with some angles. I mean, at the very least, I can, like, um, place it here and then shoot one from, like, around here. I don't know. I don't think I can see it from there is the problem. So we're going to try and uh, go over this way. And there's some stairs there. Great. Okay. Uh, what? Just smash that. Huge boomer. Okay. I can deal with that. It's taken quite a bit of damage there. Goodness. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna have a peek because there could be some stuff that's in here that could be good. 
Just something like zombies, it looks like, yeah. Um, I think that we probably should head back at this point. Yeah, we probably should because we're starting to get cold. And these guys are going to start grabbing us, which will make it hard for us to get out of here on time. Okay, I'm just going to leave him. We'll deal with the, the corpse in a little bit. If I try and go up here... Where is that? Um, that's not really very useful. We'll just... Uh, We'll go up where we came from. Yeah, it's just easier. And see, now we're getting very cold. We're gonna need a run. We do have our, our heater going. We're gonna start taking damage pretty soon. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um, I think we just took a little damage. Okay, there we go, we're okay. Not 30 minutes, but until until we're comfortable, yeah. Okay, we're good. Oh man, see what I mean? It's it's kind of tricky. I think we're going to have to just kind of like work with the angle that we've been given. I think... Yeah, we can't really see them from here, but if I do... If I were to stand there, I'd be able to see him. So, can I throw my flashlight? Uh, just wear that for a second. Can I throw that, like, here? I don't know. Or, like, there? Yeah, that kind of works. Um, and see now we can kind of loop over to that side over there and we'd be in the dark I think that that's probably the smarter thing to do is there giant spiders coming over towards the the turrets though what, what was that combat armor combat mech <laughs> The XO2 Grunt Combat Mech. Okay. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see what that is. We'll have to deal with it soon enough. I think we can probably shoot it with our bullets. We'll be fine. I'm more interested about those turrets that were down there. See, and now we're already getting very cold. Oh, we didn't have our suit on. That's probably why. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Okay, um, let's get that on. Let's get down there. And we'll try and loop over to the side this time. So if we go down here. And then we go over here. I think we might have, maybe, there might have been a shorter path than the one we, we took there. Can I... Just reload that with the full, yep, and then wield it as well, yep, good to me. I can hear things, but, um, as that can see your current location, well, that's not good. <laughs> if we can see my current location, um, I think we need to dip out of here. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut through here. Don't mind me. And yeah, that was that would have been a bad encounter. I don't know. Now we don't have a flashlight, and we do. It's it's just hard to get to, and I think we're starting to feel the pain. Yeah, we're starting to hurt from the cold. Okay, good. Okay. I mean, at the very end of the day, we can always leave that flashlight there. I'm just kind of curious as to what's in the finale room, you know, because we are right here. I could have sworn it, it said that that was in the dark over there. 
I'm just gonna take a couple steps running. I mean, if we want to, we can blow another hole down there, and that'd make it a lot easier to do this fighting. Go ahead and start walking again. I think it's actually faster if we go over like this. Yeah, that's totally faster. Okay. I'm just curious as well as to... Is that... Fungal? It's fungal. Okay, well we need to be careful with the fungus. If they're among us. Oh no, that goes up. I want to go down. There's the, oh the downstairs are right here. Duh. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get around it really. I mean, the one thing is that I could step next to the flashlight and then grab it. That's the other possibility. I think it would be also nice to just be able to spot what we have in there. You know? Oh. We're getting very cold now. We gotta get back. I think we just got a little bit lost there. And now we're starting to get hurt. For real. Okay. Good. We're coughing heavily. Uh, that's that's weird. I don't know why we're coughing. Shouldn't common cold. Oh no, I've got the cold. Well, that's a shame. That's gonna make us cough. I'm. We are, have been in like sub-zero temperatures like pretty regularly, <laughs> so I can't be complaining. You know, let's let's try and go um, get our flashlight. I think that if we run we might be able to get it. Right? I'm not sure. Maybe let's stop running just for a second. Let's just kind of look at it. If I go right here that turret actually yeah they they could see me at that current location okay let's see it seems to me like this is getting dimmer you know what if I go there yeah that guy can still see me as well yeah I don't know Sorry, apologies. I'm going back being a coward. I, I think that I'm going to get shot if I try and, and get the flashlight. But I think that it may be getting dimmer because the flashlight's running out of power to the point where we actually have a better shot from the side there. I'm going to try going for the side one more time. I believe... Okay, let's activate that and let's run out a little bit. We're not gonna run far. Just far enough. And I think that's probably good. I'm gonna try and make a run across. Right. Do it from here. There we go. Good. And then we should be Kind of close now. Okay, boomers down. I might want to see about smashing this this light. That might help me. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna open that and have a look. See, can it see me from here? It apparently can does not seem very fair. It can see to my current location. Okay, so I think that we're actually in the clear here. 
Can I... Uh, uh, hostile detected. That was dumb of me. Okay, that, that could have ended with me getting shot there. I am going to open that up and take a shot, I think. If the game lets me. Here, click. I think that we're okay. I'm not sure if that click is aimed at me or if it's an empty click. Pretty sure it's an empty click, like the things are out of ammo. Okay, that turret's down. The other one should be pretty easy for us to take out too. If I step here, can they see me? It can see to that current location, but I don't think it can see the actual location. I'm gonna go auto because I don't want it shooting back at me, because it totally could. Uh, stop aiming, yes. Oh, from the north I heard not hostiles detected. Okay, I think that we're okay then. There we go. That one's down. Okay, I'm gonna make a run back. Um, not through that territory. That seems kind of silly. Uh, we might want to get the adrenaline going because we might get cold, so cold that we, we get slowed down. I'm not sure. I think we're okay. We'll just get low on our stanima. Oh my goodness. If two turrets are down, we are back. We're definitely hurting a little bit from that. Yeah, we've we've really kind of pushed it to the limit going down there from here. It better be worth it, whatever's in that, in that finale room. <laughs> I just really want a medical mutagen book, and I've kind of like given up on getting that at this point. I don't. I just don't know where they they spawn nowadays. They don't. Their spawn rate seems to have gone down in the regular rooms, you know. And I think they are supposed to be in like libraries now or something. I'm not sure. Let's just get our flashlight, please. Um, do I have another lighter for the flashlight? Or another battery for it? Um, I think the MP3. Yep, sorry about the heartbeat. Let's just, uh, have a look, see what we're dealing with. We're gonna get webbed if... We're not careful. Uh, there's a couple turrets, it looks like. But I, I don't know. It looks to me like there's a giant combat mech fighting them. I just kind of want to see what's in the... Um, thing here you know can I go up from here yeah what what is in this room I'm just curious oh we're actually pretty close to uh, which we'll call it right there from here um, let's just kind of cut through here seeing how we this is kind of a, a clear path for us, right? There's not a whole lot, as you can see. Uh, anything there? No, okay. Alright, well, let's, um... Oh, man. Our temperature. <laughs> At least we have our flashlight again. It's the little things, right? Little things in this game <laughs> make a huge difference. We're actually getting kind of low on our, our medium battery power ourselves um, for our thermal uh, outfit. Actually, do I have another one of those? 
I, I do, but it's pretty much out of battery as well. Great, okay. Um, and those turrets would have shot those spiders, right? That's what I'm assuming. I want to um, just see what's in that center thing. I feel like it's a mutagen dispenser. But I could be wrong. So if I make a run for it, can I go down there? So let me just kind of climb over that, do a little parkour, stop running. Yeah, we got that on. Good. Okay, I'm gonna just step here. Oh, I think they might be trying to shoot at me there. I'm not sure. Can I just get a glance at this? Oh, it's a purifier smart shot. Oh, that is, that's like seriously one of the best things in the entire game. Like, no joke. Okay, uh, can I get that flashlight on and dump that, like, there? And then have a look see it here. Yes. Okay, cool. I can then get a nice shot at that turret. They might shoot the computer though. Then you be careful about that. Maybe I can take this single shot. I'm not sure. There's no need to rush this though, is the thing. You know? And northwest, I'm hearing click. I'm pretty sure we're safe. I'm gonna try and, uh. Our intelligence is kind of low. Could just teleport in and grab it and then teleport out the back. Yeah, let's do that. It's so much safer. I mean, it's gonna take up our power, but I think we can do that and then get out of here. Oh, what? Try again with more energy? You're kidding me, right? That's ridiculous. Hostile detected? Nope. You know you didn't. I'm getting that. Uh, pick that up. And we're getting out of here. I really want that purifier, though. That's like one of the best items in the entire game. Like, it basically lets you get rid of any mutation targeted, which is incredible. Like, it's absolutely incredible in this game. Because you can you can do, just take a ton of mutagen and then, like, have, like, one game-breaking mutation just ruin a build, and then that can, like, essentially just fix the build. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. Oh, this is so finicky, though, with the cold. <laughs> Trying to match this cold. I think we're gonna have to hack and hopefully get lucky. Um, which I'm not sure how I feel about that, about taking that risk right now. Especially given that we have kind of low power. I mean, I feel like the smart thing to do is to head back up get more battery power and then come back down and just clear it out. But I don't know if I'm gonna actually do that. Okay, stop running. Gotta manage that stanima. Okay. Um I'm gonna toss uh our flashlight down here. Use me. There we go. And the combat mech, I'm really kind of curious about.
but I'm gonna just take it out so that these spiders, if any robots do come down, they end up fighting them. Okay, it is actually very tough. Hmm. It's got a Gatling laser, apparently. You may be able to hack it to accept you as its pilot. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that sounds cool. Well, we're going to have to take that out. I don't think that we've got the armament to do so right now. But I think we've got the ability to hack this pretty safely. And then I think most things would go after those spiders, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Can I just run and get that? And then bounce out of here. Yes. It's happening, guys. Okay, we got it. Oh, man. I kind of want to go back for the combat mech, but I don't know how many bullets it's going to take to take that thing out. I think a lot. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, getting this item. Like, seriously, I've, I've never gotten that. It's an end lab finale. And I've never actually used the item, so I'm, I'm really excited to see, well, A, when I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to be able to use that. <laughs> you know? Okay, we got to conserve our heat. We're, we, we basically, at this point, we need to just get out of here. But I think I'm going to end this here at this point, and then I'll do that off camera. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.